Well, I'm back making something else. Um, I have two packages of broccoli in this pan. I have cooked it. I took it out of the freezer. Um, it's some that I had froze. Here's one that I'm going to do for my mom. Um, the one that, some of them I, when I froze, I didn't, it was late in the year when you didn't have the cabbage worm problem, so I didn't have to soak it in salt in order to make sure that I didn't have any cabbage worms in it. So I have a few packages for mom. So I'm thawing one out for her and I'm going to do it without the cheese sauce. So hers is just going to be broccoli um, with a little no salt on it. And that's going to be hers. But there's two packages like this in there that um, was out of my freezer. I cooked it. Um, so it's done. And now all I have to do is add cheese sauce. And this is a, this was very long, but I couldn't get it all out. So I just put these little clips for the, their paper clip, um, things. They're the wide ones. that's strong. I put them on the back side. So, you know, pushed it all forward, rolled it up tight. Kind of like them toothpaste containers where they roll them up so that you can keep the toothpaste at the end. That's kind of the principle that I went for with that. So then all we got to do is squeeze the cheese sauce all over this. I'm going to put a fair amount on it. I like it real cheesy. And um, and if I d wouldn't have drained the liquid off, then it gets really runny on the, and you want it cheesy and thick. And so this will go in the, everything will be put in the slow cookers and Thursday morning I'll turn them on. So, yep, it's going to be good. Nice and cheesy. And this is definitely working to do it this way. <laughs> it was not working to just squeeze it out. And like I say, this come in one of them, I think it was Ruby's Pantry that it came in. Okay. I would say I've got plenty on there. And now to seal this up, it didn't come with a cap, so I'm assuming that it was uh, from a restaurant and it goes in one of the machines that they just lift the lever and it comes out. Um, so I just take a little piece of uh, saran wrap, put it over the end and put a rubber band on it. Works great to seal it back up. But this is ready to go out into the garage where it's just like a refrigerator. And that one's ready. My mom's will be tomorrow before I do that. I think the next one I might be working on is asparagus. And it is bacon asparagus. And what made me think of this recipe is I made um, asparagus wrapped in bacon and we grilled it. A lot of work. And I thought, hmm, why can't you just stir fry it? The bacon, stir fry it with the asparagus. Isn't that the same thing? It's the same exact flavor, but it's good and a whole lot easier. So that's what I'm going to make is the stir fried um, uh, asparagus and bacon. It's really good. So that's what's going to be next. So I will be right back in a little bit. To, I got to get everything cleaned up and ready to go. And we will work on that. Well, good morning. I'm going to make mom's broccoli now. The package of broccoli is all thawed out. And like I say, I didn't um, soak it in salt water ahead of time so that I know there's no sodium in it. And basically, we're going to do a steamed broccoli with it. We're going to just put it in this little casserole dish. And I did blanch the broccoli before I froze it. So, just spread it out, and then we are 
just going to sprinkle it with some spices. I'm actually going to, um, since my spices have no salt, um, which we did that on purpose, I'm going to do the no salt. And I'm going to just sprinkle some on top. And then I'm going to sprinkle some, it's garlic powder with parsley, but there's not really enough parsley in it. So I'm going to add some parsley also. Oh, it's not even opened yet. can't believe that. Okay. And then um, gin, uh, garlic is very, very, very good for you too. So um, then I'll just, this is the, it's kind of minced um, parsley is chopped up. So we're going to add some of that. That'll give it some flavor. And then all I have to do is put the lid on it. I'll put it out in the garage for now along with everything else. And tomorrow morning, just before we eat, it'll be popped in the microwave for a few minutes along with the squash I did for her. So um, so that's how I did her um, steamed broccoli. Um, I still got several other things to do here on here with you and then and then I'll close, but not yet, because I still got the apple crisp to do for sure. The potatoes, I'm not going to show you how to do the potatoes. The potatoes are going to be potatoes, and it's not low carb. So I'm going to just do up potatoes for the people that come that, you know, they're not doing keto so or low carb. So, and if I want to have a little, I mean, it's, it's a vegetable. It's not like it's sugar. Sugar is the really, really, really bad no-no. Um, so, and I'll probably do, I might go ahead and uh, video it because uh, I think I'm going to do it with cream cheese. I've done it before and it's really good. So, not that I've eaten it for a very, very long time. So, I got to look up a recipe because I don't remember how it was done. But that's what I'm going to, I think I'm going to do. Um, Pinterest is a great source for looking up recipes if you don't like. I mean, you can look at the recipes and you can say, I don't think I'd like them together. And then you just move on. There's a lot of recipes. And sometimes you'll think, aha, I'll bet you that would be really good. I got to try that. So Pinterest is a good source for some good recipes. A lot of my recipes that I've got is from Pinterest. And I tweak them and then they're my own recipes. And um, sometimes I'll look up two or three recipes and I'll think, well, look, they put that spice with that spice. That would be good in this other recipe that I do. And so, yeah, get ideas and uh, play with it. It's fun. So I'll be back later. And um, if you like what you see, like it and share it and subscribe and um, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.